draw the Lewis dot structure for H2O. So first, H2O is polar because the electronegativity of hydrogen is 2.1 and of oxygen is 3.5. So the d when you subtract them, it's 1.4, which means it's a polar bond. So now to draw the Lewis dot structure, we'll put hydrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen. And H2O needs eight valence electrons. And hydrogen can only hold two, so you put the line that represents two for each, so hydrogen's full. But oxygen needs eight, so you add four, so in total it has eight valence electrons. Then to draw the vectors, since oxygen has a higher electronegativity, the vectors will be pointing towards oxygen, which will make oxygen partially negative and will make both the hydrogens partially positive. Since the vectors do not cancel, but the molecule moves, this is a polar molecule. So water is polar. Since like dissolves like and water is polar, when you see that the oil doesn't dissolve, that tells us that it's non-polar. Since we know that vegetable oil is non-polar, that means that its intermolecular force is dispersion. Now we're going to test if a hydrogen bond or dispersion force is stronger. Since H2O is polar and it contains hydrogen and oxygen, it is a hydrogen bond. Now we will see how strong the intermolecular force is compared to the force of vegetable oil. Since we were able to put 14 drops of water on the penny, but only 5 drops of oil on the penny, that means that hydrogen bonds are stronger than dispersion forces.